Good evening, this is Quintus Curtius. Welcome back to the podcast. And in this podcast, we're going to talk about a subject that I've thought about for a long time and a subject that I have some familiarity with and some some thoughts on based on my experiences over the years. And the subject is, what do young men want? What do young men want? And I thought I would just offer some suggestions, some ideas about this subject, and um, see what people think, see what you think. Um, Basically, the way I see it, there's really four major needs that, that, uh, that have to be satisfied for young men. Four major needs. And I'm going to go through those needs here, not in any particular order, any particular hierarchy of needs, but just a list of one after the other. The first is mission. The first is mission. Young men want a mission. Young men want a mission. And what I mean by that is they want to have a sense of purpose. They want to have a clear understanding of what it is that they are directing their energies and their intensity and their life forces towards. They need that. They need goals, specific, actionable goals that can be articulated, not vague, it's insubstantial goals, but, but specific goals. They want a mission. They want a mission. And I think the second thing that young men want is a sense of belonging a sense of belonging to something bigger than themselves, a sense of belonging to a higher order of things, sort of a group identity. We Now, we can use different euphemisms for this word belonging. We can use tribe. We can use calling. We can use, um, you know, overarching ideal, I suppose. There's many different ways of phrasing it, but a sense of belonging implies a shared kinship with other young men. Young men need to be in association with each other. They they need to be interacting with each other in positive, healthy ways. They need to be testing their strength, testing their mettle, one against the other, all working towards one higher larger ideal that is greater than themselves. And this is important. This is important. The, the ideal has to be something greater th- than themselves. Because if the goal is, is something that is not greater than themselves, then it's not something that's going to inspire devotion. Young men are idealistic. Young men are imbued with a sense of zeal, with a sense of passion, with a sense of purpose, and they need goals that complement that sense of idealism. Okay, They don't need these epicurean, mundane, run-of-the-mill goals that, that modern society likes to thrust on men. Like, oh, let's you know, my 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 end my goal in life is should be to get a picket fence and a house and and whatever and that's fine as far as it goes, but I think. I think, most men, the vast majority of men, need need to have they need to be actuated by a sense of mission and purpose towards something that is greater than themselves. Towards something that is greater than themselves, and that's very very important to understand that. So the first two things to recap, a sense of mission, specific purpose, and number two, a sense of belonging to a group or a tribe that has as its underlying goal and purpose something higher than the group itself. Something higher than the group itself. The third thing, the third thing that young men want, and I'm going to put this in terms as bluntly as I can, they want to kick ass. Young men want conquest. They want to conquer. They want to overcome. They want to force the submission of the other. They want to force the submission of the other. They want a conquest. They want to conquer. 
And this is of critical importance also. So don't be nervous or afraid when I use these words. These are, this is the truth. This is the way it is. This is the way things are. You know, in the modern world, it's become somewhat suspect to talk about these things in blunt terms because our societies are so, just so utterly and totally feminized on so many levels that when someone speaks honestly, it's almost like, the listener is getting a, a bucket of cold water tossed in his face. But this is how it is. And you need to acknowledge it. You need to acknowledge it. Conquest. Young men want to conquer. They want to overcome. They want to hurl themselves against the obstacles of life or the physical obstacles that are placed before them. And they want to overcome them. They want to overcome them. Now, the word conquest is very broad, and it can be interpreted in, in a, a broad way. That, that term can encompass many different things. When I say conquest, I don't necessarily mean that someone wants to uh, physically go and conquer new lands, which in the past, that was the case. That was the case in the past. That's a little bit difficult to do nowadays. A little bit difficult to do now, nowadays unless we talk about maybe exploration of, of of the solar system or arriving on new planets. But there was a time when you could physically, actually physically go and occupy uh, new lands and actually take them, you know, during the period of Western expansion through the Western United States or the, the colonial period or, or there, there, there have been many periods in, in history where this thing, such things were physically possible. A little bit difficult to do nowadays physically, but the impulse to conquer can be satisfied in, satisfied in other ways now. Maybe we can talk about uh, the idea of, of, of conquering a, a, a challenge, conquering, uh, climbing a, a, a mountain, or uh, achieving some sort of uh, um, uh, some very high and worthy goal. And a conquer also involves conquering, uh, you know, feeling feeling what it's like to to um to 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 pursue and to to conquer a woman there's no other word to use really and when i say conquer i i don't mean that in a in a derogatory sense i mean to 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 be able to attract a member uh, of the opposite gender to be to be able to attract a woman and to through force of personality and will, to win her over, to win her over, voluntarily, of course, lest I be misunderstood, okay, to your cause, your side, your, your aura, okay, and this is exactly what happens, and I've had it told to me in no uncertain terms by women, by women themselves, so the impulse to conquer can come in, in, in different forms, different flavors. It can be a job, it can be, it can be a woman, it can be land, it can be the other, another, you know, conquering, you know, physically overcoming uh, an opposing force in a battle, okay? If we're talking about military engagements, this can, this can happen, this does happen. And the fourth thing, the fourth thing that I think that young men want is glory. Young men want glory. They want, they want to be acknowledged. They want to be acknowledged for their achievements. They want to bask in that aura of achievement. They want to be rewarded. They want glory. And again, this is another word that seems to imply in the modern world a negative connotation, which it, it really should not. Because glory in many ways is equivalent, in the, in the classical sense anyways, is equivalent to honor. To be honored is to feel the effect of glory, to have that shimmering presence about you as an acknowledgement for, for deeds achieved. And you know, in ancient Greece, he who performed well in the Olympic Games received nothing really more than a a crown of um, a crown of uh, of olives, a crown of olive leaves, and they didn't receive 
endorsements from companies. They didn't receive vast financial rewards. They weren't really after money. But that crown, the crown of Olympia, was, was, there, was no, there was no form of prestige that was higher than that. There was no form of prestige that was higher than that. And that's why there's a saying, there was even an article that I wrote a couple of years ago called, Many go to the marketplace, but few seek the crown at Olympia. But few seek the crown at Olympia. And that means many, many men actually go to the marketplace, but very few are really able to achieve those overarching ideals, the crown, the crown of Olympia. So this is glory. And you will notice that conspicuously absence from my little list of four requirements of what young men want is money. And let me tell you, I don't think it's a, it's a huge mistake for people to think that young men are actuated by financial goals. I mean, yes, money's important, and there are there are many who, at least on the surface, say that they want money, and that's fine as far as it goes. But I would submit, I would say that this this desire for money is not really so much money for its own sake, but it's more of a it's more of a uh, articulation of a of a of a sense uh, of the the conquering impulse they want to it's the it's how in the modern world that some men find a way to express their impulse to conquer they somehow think that gaining money is um, an expression of their uh, conquering impulse but if you really scratch beneath the surface or at least my experience has been most young men don't really care about money i mean they care in the sense that they want their needs met but the pursuit of money is really an old, older man's game in the sense that that's something really like middle-aged men and older men really fixate on. Not all of us, but there are many that do. because, And they re, the reason I think they do this is because they are unable to express their masculine impulses and urges in any other way. They're, they're, they've passed the age, most of them, where they can perform physically uh, at a level which they would like to perform, uh, you know, in terms of their their senses, their reflexes, impulse, their strength, their endurance. So their masculine impulses find other ways of expressing themselves, and a lot of this, a lot of time, this comes down to basically just being fixated on money, and <coughs> and that's that's fine, I suppose, as far as it goes. You know, it's not really how I. It's not really my uh, my operating impulse, as you uh, as you might expect, but but uh, I, I get that. But you know, throwing money at young men, no, no, they they would prefer conquest and glory over money any day, and I can prove that so easily by if you anyone who spent any time in the military knows that what young men prize more than anything are those ribbons, those medals. The medals that will announce to all the world that they had valor, that they had courage, that they had masculine virtue, especially medals that come from battlefield achievements. There's no, I mean, even now, there's, there's no one who's held in higher awe, no one who's held in higher awe than, than those who are decorated on the battlefield for valor. Because this is what, this is what, uh, this is what all men want, but I think young men especially are keenly actuated by this impulse. So what do we conclude from all this? I think, well, what we can con conclude from, from verbalizing these four, these four desired, uh, desired things of young men is that these are fundamental impulses, and they have to be satisfied and I think it's the responsibility of every society to try to find positive, healthy, and productive ways to channel these impulses so that young men have uh, 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 are able to achieve, are able to have a, a sense of purpose that, uh, that matches their natures. Because the idealism and the and the and the intensity of young men is is a very very precious resource in my opinion, it's something that's underappreciated in the West, drastically underappreciated, and as I look around me, as I go about my business day to day, I see so many young men 
with so much potential that is never going to be realized because no one has ever tried to reach out to them. They were failed. They were let down by the institutions that should have been thinking about these things. These, those four things I just read off, mission, belonging, conquest, glory, these are things that our institutions should have been thinking about at a very early age and providing healthy outlets for men to, to, to express these urges. And I'm just not seeing that happening. The traditional avenues for these things, things like places like school, uh, you know, work, extracurricular activities, military, uh, I'm seeing a, a, a steadily constricting um, arena of expression for these impulses. And it's not good. It's not doing our society any good to deny these impulses and to shame them and to restrict them and to constrict them because they're going to find expressions in unhealthy ways. Okay? And we don't want that. It's not good. We don't want that. So hopefully my uh, discussion of this will uh, maybe prompt some thinking and some considerations on the listener's part. They can come up with their own thoughts, their own responses if they want. And everyone has their own, their own views, I'm sure. But these are just some of my observations. And I thought that they were worth putting out there. So they're out there. So for now, that will be all. This is uh, Quintus Curtius. Good night.